Why hello there people, what's going on? My name is Big Mini and this here is episode number 47 of the Battlefield 4 Top Place. I'm sorry for the wait on this episode, guys. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know what the reasons were for the delay, but regardless, we're going to be pressing on today with the Battlefield 4 Top Place, showcasing 10 awesome clips sent in by you, the Battlefield community. So let's get into it. For our first clip up here today, we have Hacker Roo, and he is playing on Operation Metro using the M240B, but that is not important as he chucks a grenade in this absolute clusterfuck of a situation. He gets extremely lucky and nets himself 11 kills with one frag grenade. That's fucking awesome. And he even gets revived in the end. Lucky as shit, but there you are. For clip number two today, here we have Ambient Flashpoint on Siege of Shanghai. And he's going to be using the CS5 sniper rifle. You don't actually see a whole lot of people running around using this sniper rifle, but uh, he's going to be playing aggressive recon, playing some uh, some conquest, it seems here, maybe conquest large on Siege of Shanghai. And uh, his team is absolutely dominating, but the whole enemy team are going to be on this flag at the moment because it's the only flag that they have. So. He's just already ran up there, got himself a nice quick couple of kills. He misses that shot on that guy charging towards him, but he backs up, gets ready for him, just waits for him coming into his vision, and then he just blows him away there using the shorty 12 gauge as a follow-up shot. And uh, this guy just didn't even know what was happening. He was just admiring the ceiling fans or some shit. I don't know, but he just got his temple blown out. But he goes up the ramp just here, putting down a motion sensor to get a better picture of what's going on around him. And this guy gets absolutely crapped on there with a the CS5 shot right through the face. This guy just showcases Battlefield in a nutshell for you right there. He was on line prone on the ground, and then all of a sudden he was up on his feet in an instant. But I do remember that all of these clips are pre-patch. These are like six weeks old or so. There's a lot of clips in the inbox. But he runs back out into the middle of the flag just here, gets himself another two quick kills. Again, those two guys get put down without so much of an answer. And um, just all around, I really enjoy this clip, not just for his great accuracy and gunplay, but simply because he takes the flag, he just deals out some death, and uh, all around just craps all over the enemy player. Our next player up today is Sakalas77. He's playing an Operation Locker. He has an 870 MCS shotgun, and he's just taking a little detour around the side of the mountains on the outside here. And by taking that very treacherous, but at the same time, very rewarding little flank there, he gets the jump on. Not those, just those two there, but also this third guy. And then he's just going to follow up with a fourth kill there with a guy who was just mortaring his teammates. But now he's found himself in a very, very good position as he just walks up behind all the enemy players. And he's kitted out and ready to deal with them. It seems as if he had this in stock for them the whole time. He had this planned out as he just throws around some C4, takes a whole bunch of them out. And he's really, really helping out his team clear out this choke point. Not just upstairs, but also downstairs. As it comes down here, unfortunately, he has no more C4 to clear out the whole room in one full swoop. But he does kill them all anyway there, using his M9 and shotgun. Eventually does die though. Our next clip up here today comes from A Hollow Mind, and he's playing on Siege of Shanghai with the Little Bird, playing some Conquest. And I've never seen a clip like this one before. Just simply because people that usually fly around in helicopters just mop up people left and right, so many kills, everything's amazing and all the rest of it. Well, this guy here, where he doesn't get boatloads of kills, he does get quite a few though in this little area here, he, um, he plays the objective, which is something you don't see a lot of helicopter pilots doing, and what I mean by that is actually taking the flag pretty much on his own. When he showed up here, it was not under contention, he's just staying in the area, killing off enemies, making sure there's no one here to take this flag back, and capturing the flag on his own. It's just not something you see every day. I mean, usually pilots that are playing the objective will drop off some uh, infantry, and they can go and capture the flag or whatever, and that's good team play, but this guy decides to take it to a whole new level. And he does spot this guy inside the little shop just there. Flies down right in front of him. He probably absolutely crapped his pants as the little bird approached. And uh, there you go. There's the flag captured. Some good team play just there. Get himself a few points, quite a few kills in the process. And just to show off at the end, he's just going to fly through the little corridor just there. But uh, yeah, something different. Moving on. Now for clip number 5, speaking of something different, where we have seen some similar stuff in the past, this will never stop being awesome. 
Flying through the air here, Danny Ireland gets himself a quad on an enemy helicopter with the J-Dam out of a jet. So, yeah, that was fucking awesome. Let's move on. For our next clip up here today, we have Mad Tom, and he's playing on Operation Locker using the RPK-12. And um, it's actually one of the guns you don't see a whole lot of people using on the battlefield these days, just simply because it's pretty down the middle of the road, pretty meh. People don't really seem to take to this gun so much, even though it used to be awesome in past battlefield titles, at least the RPK variants were. But either way, he's just making his way into the main sort of area of Operation Locker. And uh, I think he's already got one kill in the clip, but uh, there's some enemy players pinning down him and one of his teammates in this little corner over here. So he's going to take up position, and it does take a little while for him to make his way down the corridor, killing himself a couple of guys in the process. And uh, sometimes maneuvering around this map can be a very slow process, just simply because there's so much crap flying all over the place. But he sees his window of opportunity and comes running through down this corridor into the main kitchen area. And uh, this is where it seems that the main bulk of the enemy team are. And he's just going to position himself in this doorway. RPK-12, he has a silencer on it there. That's it's very important detail. By just positioning himself here with the silencer, he's able to clear out the entire room and take down every enemy player around here. Very nice clip, little clip there. For next clip up here today, we have Rodney Halo 3, and he is playing on Operation Firestorm 2014, if you want to be that specific. And, uh, well, guy climbing up the ladders gets absolutely denied with the SRR-61, and looking off way further into the distance after that mountain, again, first time, gets a headshot. So that's two very long-range headshots, and why not just go for the old third there as he clocks another guy climbing up the tower and takes him out. Very accurate shooting at long range. Club number 8 today, we have Kimo8181. And uh, he is playing on Lang Kang Dam. He has a shrawl. He spots an enemy helicopter just flying around giving some people a hard time over there. He decides to intervene and get himself a double kill. As well as 370 points to boot, not too shabby. But the clip is not over, he may have realized it's still continuing, and surely he can't be going for that helicopter. Surely not. Of all the places to see a long-range helicopter kill with a straw, the top place is where that's gonna happen. And of course, he gets himself the double with an incredible shot there, getting two helicopters for two, and then just taking out this last guy with the UMP. Our next clip up here today comes from Anarchy Ninja, and he's playing on Operation Metro with the AEK-971. And he's going to take possession up here behind this vending machine and start mowing down some people. He's already got himself over 700 points. It seemed to delay a little bit just there. It just sort of all shot up at the same time. He takes out another two targets. Again, the kill feed is very, very slow to respond. It can't keep up to the amount of people that he's just murdering at the moment. There goes another one there with the DO-44. And uh, he manages to catch himself a double kill there with one guy getting revived, unfortunately, for him. And he's just going to clean up shop. Unfortunately, at over 2,000 points, his point streak did just about run out, so that wasn't too great. But he's just going to continue demolishing people. A very, very nice clip, killing a whole lot of people with a nice point. For our 10th clip up today, we have The Broken Machine playing Operation Metro with the RPK-74M. It's actually kind of weird that we've had both RPK guns in this episode, but this guy, man, holy shit. He sent us some stuff in the past, this guy, uh, The Broken Machine, that is, and he always seems to clean up servers pretty much on his own. Just watch what's about to unfold. He's playing some Rush here. And uh, he's in the attacking team. Some of his uh, teammates are moving in there to arm the objective. So it's now just time to hold off the enemy team, keep them at bay. And he does have a couple of teammates up here for support. But if you pay attention to the kill feed in a second, he just owns the kill feed. He just has the kill feed. No one else is on that kill feed. And he's still killing people. As he comes around the corner, there's another guy running down towards him trying to get in there to try and disarm. They're not even getting close at the moment. This guy just posts himself up. He's actually running out of ammo before he realizes just there. He's killed so many people so quickly. Had to stop and give himself some more ammo to kill some more people. And uh, he does that a little bit. Not as much as he did a second ago. He just killed pretty much everyone to the point where the enemy team just disappeared. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's Battlefield 4 Top Plays. If you have, please hit that like button down below to help support the show. 
and I will be back next week. Stick around for the outro clip. I'll see you guys later.